Moin Loon here, demonstrating how to use some of the basics of this loft. In this demo, I'll be making a hammer handle, showing you how to edit and render a basic sculpt map. First, we're going to start with a base. We'll use a cylinder. Click on the loft base and choose Generate, then click Generate Cylinder. Then I'll be placing the disks over the image. I'm going to link them and resize the root pin to the size wanted. I'll use a script to resize all of this, the prims in the link set to save time. The script is provided in the sloth script package. I'm going to recenter and resize the image behind it. Now we're ready to edit it. I'm going to unlink all the pieces. I'm going to cap the top end. It's very useful if you don't do it, the very top of it will of the sculpt map will end up looking a little odd. So it is a good thing to do. I'm gonna resize all the discs to match on the image. I'm going to fast forward it because it takes a while. I'm going to ease the bottom out so it appears smoother on the sculpt map. Put more discs there to provide more detail. And of course, cap the final end so the very bottom doesn't appear odd on the sculpt map. And now we're ready to render it. To do this, you have to place the gray sloughed base around all of the disks. Make sure none of the disks are sticking out or it will create errors on the sculpt map. This is a common problem so make sure you double check. The tighter you shrink the sloth base around everything, the higher quality the sculpt map will be. And then to render it, you click it, then you click render. And in about two seconds, you will get two links. The second link is the best one to upload in uh, Second Life, as long as you choose Lossless when you go to upload it. Then make the prim type sculpted and drag the image onto it. And you're done.